When I made a video about using bamboo skewers as dowels, I wanted to show using them to reinforce a miter joint. And I came up with this really elegant uh, solution for that. So you start with a block of hardwood and drill two holes through it like this. They don't need to be accurate. And then I split that block down the middle and I can use this half as a drill guide for drilling the dowel holes in this half of the miter joint and the other half to drill the other holes. And because those holes line up with each other, the dowel holes will also line up perfectly. I have to make sure these two pieces are lined up properly this way and for that I need a stop that goes on here and that needs to be the same for both pieces which is why I cut both of these as one and then split it down the middle so I can use the other half as a stop on here and I'll just glue both of those so that they're flush on top and then they're aligned properly. I had a bit of glue squeeze out in the corner, but it's also not uncommon to have a burr on the edge of the miter, so I'm just adding some clearance with the bandsaw. Got four pieces for a picture frame mitered. Let's try out the jigs. It's a decent fit. Now I just gotta add some detail to this frame. And one final dry fit before I glue it. A nice thing about reinforcing these miters is I can clamp it without worrying about the joints slipping out of place. As usual, I'm making it look slightly easier than it is. Uh, this was my first version of the jig, and this was the first miter joint, uh, which isn't all that accurate. The problem is this piece wasn't thick enough, and so I don't have very good directional guidance of the drill. And uh, the hole quickly wears out on account of that, and so they weren't drilling very accurately. So the next one I made was this one, which I used in the video. And you'll notice these lines on here, these are markings just to make sure that this piece is correctly paired with that piece. And with this being much thicker, that gives the uh, drill really good directional guidance. So basically this one works, and then I made this one for this video. Let's see if I can pick this squeeze out off with a pair of chisels. There's some drops of glue on there, which really shows up with the varnish. Always got to have a chisel handy when doing that sort of thing. A trick I learned from John Heist is for oil-based varnish, don't clean the brush. Just wrap it tightly in a bag and keep it in the freezer and it'll stay good for next time. I glued this picture onto a piece of cardboard to get a nice white edge all around and that goes on the backer board, goes into the frame and then some nails to hold it in place. I have pilot holes for these which is why I can push them in with my fingers. And it's done!